Today's the day. I am super pumped. I finally have my very own DIY miniature dollhouse kit. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And in this episode, we're going a little outside the lines. I warned you this was coming. I'm finally building my own DIY miniature dollhouse. I've seen lots of these videos. I was just so excited. You have no idea. So I ordered one myself off this website, kind of a strange website called banggood.com. I'm not joking. This one is called Container Home B and it comes with like an acrylic case and everything. So let's get this puppy open and get cracking. First thing we got to do is open the box. This is a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, from what I understand, the directions may be in Chinese but I hear there's a lot of pictures. I hope that's the case because I don't know Chinese. There's a lot of stuff in here and this really is a DIY kit. You even have to put together all the little furniture and like the textiles. I'm gonna try to customize this house with some of my own personal touches. So we'll see how that goes. All right, it's got batteries, it's got lights in here. So we're gonna have to figure this all out. I hope the instructions, I really hope the instructions are good. I think this is the base. It's a pretty small, Dollhouse kit, I think this might be like 1 24th scale or like half inch scale. I've been doing my dollhouse research. So uh, yeah, we gotta try to figure this out. All right, this is obviously the like acrylic, this is obviously like the acrylic uh, base stuff. I did buy some glue. I got some little mini glues called Quick Grip. Um, also, I'm probably going to need to buy like a dollhouse toolkit. I saw them on Amazon. So I'm gonna see if I can pick one of those up because I actually ordered and got another dollhouse that I'm gonna do after this, I know. Going a little crazy here, but you know what? That's okay, right? Guess I'm gonna to have to rely on the pictures. Instructions are in Chinese. I'll link to places below where you can purchase the kit. To glue all the floor, ceiling, and wall materials, I got this thing called Yes Paste and used an old insurance card to spread it. It works well. There are a lot of printables to cut out, so have a good small pair of scissors on hand to help you. If you don't like the color of the furnishings, you can also paint them with acrylic paint like I did. Let's start off with the bedroom. There's a cute tiny nightstand and an alarm clock made of beads. White platform bed and cardboard mattress. I sewed my own pink and gold bedspread.
tall chest of drawers, instead of using the beads for knobs, I glued on rhinestone crystals with this wax pickup tool called the Crystal Katana. The supplies I used are listed below in the description box. The shower is pieces of wood that you cover in more paper printouts. I had a difficult time with adhering the tiny sides of the paper. The quick grip glue worked the best, but it was kind of messy. Little beads are used to make the bathroom toiletries. The towel bar is comprised of wire and gold beads. For next time, I do want to get a set of jewelry making pliers to make this easier. I used my own fabric to customize my DIY mini container home dollhouse with a palette of pink, gold, blue, and silver. Let's move into the kitchen. Gotta assemble three chairs and a kitchen table. I painted the top white instead of using that paper overlay. The range hood and cooktop are blocks of wood that you cover with silver paper. I painted the brown countertop pink and inserted gold glitter vinyl canvas behind the cabinet doors instead of the floral paper in the kit. Gold wire and a bead make up the kitchen faucet.
This red container has a spot to install the music box. It's hidden behind a wall I covered in more fabric. To fit the wires for lighting, I sanded down the corner. The kitchen floor is white glitter vinyl canvas, and I'll link below where you can purchase it. Door handle is another rhinestone crystal. Living room time. There's a coffee table and a side table. I do enjoy the mini MacBook made from paper and pink foam. Paper flowers in a vase. fake plants in tiny clay pots, minuscule headphones out of wire and beads. A chest of drawers I painted gold. The sofa was one of the hardest parts for me. I used a lime green and mint fabric, but I didn't use big enough pieces and couldn't completely cover each cardboard component. But hindsight is always 20-20. A tip for making itty bitty pillows, iron in all the edges and glue all but one side, insert the filling, then glue the opening closed. No sewing required. Isn't this fun? Of course, the end wall of the white container is painted gold too. All right, we're finally going outside. There's a staircase with gold painted rails. Patio furniture that I kind of jacked up but still looks okay.
and a rooftop swimming pool made of wood and cardboard. The pool has an LED light I inserted and a wire ladder. I lost the plastic sheet for the pool, so I repurposed plastic packaging from toothbrush heads and dabbed on Mod Podge to make it look more like water. Toward the end, I glued the container homes to the base and ran all the wires. Time for all the little pieces to be set in place, like another plant, books, grass, and a mini tree. The wiring took me a bit to figure out, but you keep all the white wires together and gray wires together, and then attach them to the battery pack and you match up the colors. I accidentally broke off some of the exposed wires, so I had to strip them. The tape that comes with the kit sucks, so if you have electrical tape, use that instead. Let there be light! The last thing to do is assemble the acrylic dust cover and we're done. This was a fun DIY craft project and I enjoyed incorporating my own custom elements into the design. Doing one of these will take a long time. I probably spent four full days on this. I have no life. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it that thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it's a little outside our comfort zone, but you know what? I like dollhouses, always have, and have always wanted to make one. I'll see you guys next time.